Elon Musk is not only one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, but he also oversees multi-billion dollar businesses like Tesla and SpaceX. As you may know, Elon Musk is the happy father of six great sons and a beautiful newborn baby girl. So now that might make you wonder about his wealthy children's lifestyle, aren't they supposed to be lavish with gifts and luxury beyond their wildest dreams? Hello folks and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll discuss all the details you need to know about the billionaire lifestyle of Elon Musk and what kind of a father Musk is. Raising six boys is difficult, especially when you're simultaneously overseeing multiple billion dollar businesses. That's a lot to handle all at once. However, most people are unaware that Elon Musk takes an unusual approach to parenting. Of course, the fact that he's so affluent helps. Elon becoming the world's richest man would surely position all of Elon's sons on the Forbes Top 100 lists, even if they shared the money twice. But that's because Elon Musk isn't your average billionaire. He still works as if he's living paycheck to paycheck, putting in weekly 70-hour work weeks. As a consequence, parenting six boys isn't easy, especially for someone with so many obligations. Elon must oversee various enterprises, attend meetings with influential people from throughout the world, and ensure that humanity's existential crisis and annihilation are avoided. How does Elon achieve a balance between being a dad and being one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs? To begin with, just one of Elon's six sons is a teenager, so he's pretty well out of the woods when it comes to spending time with them. Like most teenage boys their age, they probably don't want to spend every waking second of the day with their father. Not everyone's father, though, launches rockets into orbit or leads multi-billion dollar businesses. Griffin and Xavier, his first children are twins who were born in 2004 through in vitro fertilization. Kai, Saxon, and Damien are triplets born by in vitro fertilization in 2006. Finally, we have the family's newest member, 12-year-old Ash, who was born on May 4, 2020, to Musk's prior girlfriend, Canadian singer Grimes. Grimes and Musk have a second kid, a girl called Exodark Side Real Musk. However, her parents will refer to her as Y. In an interview, Grimes said that the baby was born in December. The magazine writer stated he heard what sounded like a baby wailing upstairs. And although Grimes grimaced and played evasively, she ultimately revealed that she was a mom again. Nevada Alexander Musk, Elon's first child, died of sudden infant death syndrome in 2002. The child was just 10 months old at the time. Elon avoids discussing the tragedy. On several occasions, Elon has quipped that he would sooner stick a fork in his hand than talk about his personal life. Due to his rigorous work and, of course, expanding his kid's vast riches, Elon doesn't have time to do what most dads would do with their boys over the weekend. Barbecues, picnics, and even watching the game with the lads are all options. That doesn't make Elon a bad parent, though. He has repeatedly stated that he loves his children with all his heart. He's even referred to them as his true love on several occasions. Elon spends his done work hours connecting with his children every waking hour. The kids are also fortunate to have a rich father who can't afford to take them whenever on the planet. As a result, they get to see some of the world's most exotic destinations while their father participates in important debates about electricity and renewable energy with some of the world's most powerful individuals. If Elon isn't able to fulfill his work, he makes it a point to fly his lads down to the Tesla facility in Fremont, California. Every year, the family also takes a camping trip to spend quality time together. This is a time for Elon to get away from the press and recuperate while he recovers from a demanding work schedule. He, like other children from rich households with a great fortune to look forward to, received an education. Elon Musk's children are homeschooled, although not in the traditional sense. From an early age, they're enrolled in their father's school. He developed the Ad Astra School specifically for them. But why? Because he thought his boys didn't need to be exposed to the present, inadequate school curriculum, especially considering the low quality of education provided by many public and private schools in the area. According to Musk, students have various skills at different times. Tailoring their education to their aptitudes and talents is more practical. He thought the instructional style used in public schools was outdated. They accept one syllabus that has been in use for years, and then they adopt another that is seemingly new but only has minor changes to the preparatory curriculum. At Ad Astra, his sons are not assigned grades. Instead, he has hired some of the world's best instructors to educate them based on their interests, aptitudes, and abilities. If a kid excels in a particular subject, the teacher's purpose is to encourage and develop that ability. The institution also teaches students to focus their efforts on problem solving rather than relying on the tools and inventions of others. After completing a task, his lads are frequently given a series of electrical components to disassemble. 
They'll be given each component to study and determine how it contributes to the device's overall functionality. Ad Astra's educational paradigm would be skills-based, with objectives such as problem-solving and gamification to motivate students to study. Elon is definitely raising his sons to be leaders, not followers. He wants children to grow up in an environment where they may thrive and become the best versions of themselves, rather than becoming captives of the system's life and discipline. Musk has stated that one aspect of his boys that bothers him is that they did not suffer as much as he did as children. He believes that this event shaped and molded him into the person he is today. He feels that his suffering gave him an extra injection of strength and will do to achieve in life. Musk was a victim of institutional bullying in South Africa, and he was regularly punched in the face. He'd wake up if there was no blood, dust it off and carry on as if nothing had occurred. His boys, on the other hand, are growing up with a unique set of experiences that most youngsters their age do not have. They won't realize it till they're in their late 20s. He recalls taking them to the Monaco Grand Prix where they met the prince and princesses of Monaco. The fact that they seemed nonchalant about it surprised him the most. All of this appears to be normal, but it's not. Because let's face it, most young people would never consider socializing with Europe's elite. Elon is a kind father, yet he can sometimes be harsh. His boys must read more books than play computer games, according to a rule he set in his household. They're not allowed to play innate video games. Do you think this regulation is reasonable? Elon once found them playing a video game in which the main objective was to. He was so upset that he requested that the Touch a Cookie Cookie game be removed immediately. He then told them to download another game in which they had to calculate the flight path of a bird. Elon revealed that there was at least some physics in the game. How will his children develop in contrast to most children from rich families? Elon's sons appear to be well-rooted, with a constant father figure molding them into the best versions of themselves. Elon is both fragile and tough. He ensures that children are exposed to the finest that the world has to offer, while also ensuring that it doesn't go to their heads, especially when it comes to inheriting a significant quantity of money, such as billions of dollars. At a home party, Elon's kids were discovered misbehaving or engaging in harmful behavior. They are, however, still young and have only recently begun to appreciate the independence that comes with pre-adulthood. On the bright side, Elon appears to be directing and developing them down a succession path, where they will ideally take over where he leaves off. We might be looking at the next Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk's other firm's CEOs. What we do know is that Elon's boys have a bright future ahead of him, and the newborn baby girl is yet to grow in the real world. Do you think Elon Musk's boys will all go into the IT industry? Is it possible that one of them was born with a natural creative ability that would blossom with time just like Musk did? Give your opinions down in the comments section. With that last piece of information, we've reached at the end of today's video. Hope you liked our video. Please subscribe to our channel and remember to hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we release a new video, and share the video as far as possible because the more you know, the more you grow. Goodbye.